This case illustrates the surgical technique for an ACL revision reconstruction using quadriceps tendon autograft and also an ALL reconstruction. The patient's 17. She's a collegiate softball player two years after a bone patellar tendon bone ACL reconstruction. Unfortunately, gets re-injured. Her imaging studies show rupture of the graft and some verticality of the prior ACL reconstruction. There's no significant tunnel expansion, so this is a single stage revision. There's positive Lachman, a gross grade three positive pivot shift, and you can see the prior incision for the bone patellar tendon bone harvest. We start with a quadriceps tendon graft harvest with a four centimeter incision directed from the superior pole of the patella more superiorly. We remove the fat from the quadriceps tendon, get excellent exposure. There are minimally invasive techniques for this harvest, but in the revision setting, we use a more open technique as you can see here. We create two incisions along the lines of the quadriceps tendon separated by 10 millimeters and then we excise it distally on the patella and start to retrieve it creating a near full thickness quadriceps tendon trying to achieve 9 to 10 millimeters in length. We then place an Alice clamp on the distal part of the quadriceps tendon. We suture with a number two non-absorbable suture and the suture is placed in a fashion to tubularize the graft. When we achieve adequate length, then we amputate the graft approximately, and then we bring it to the back table. The more proximal aspect of the graft is then contoured and sutured again with number two non-absorbable. Suture tubularizing the graft for a 10 millimeter solid graft. We'll achieve femoral fixation using an ACL tightrope. The tightrope is simply sutured to the proximal end of the graft using the very strong number two non-absorbable suture. Overall, an excellent strength to the graft construct. We go forward with arthroscopy. We do necessary meniscal work as indicated. Here's a partial medial meniscus debridement. The lateral meniscus had a radial tear, which was treated with a meniscal repair. The residual ACL graft is absent. We debride the remainder of the ACL perform a revision notch plasty. We're able to reference the anterior horn of the lateral meniscus on the tibial side. And on the femoral side, we'll create a medial portal approach that is further down from the prior femoral tunnel that you see being probed. We place a tibial pin in the anatomic insertion, drill 10 millimeters, removing all of the prior graft tissue we debride, we can put the camera in the tibial tunnel to make sure that we have adequate debridement of the soft tissue. We create a femoral tunnel through the medial portal, place a flexible pin and then a flexible reamer, drill approximately 30 millimeters and then the far cortex is drilled four and a half millimeters to facilitate passage of the cortical button. We then have a suture shuttle that's retrieved out the tibial tunnel then the quadriceps tendon graft ACL tightrope construct is passed through the tibial tunnel into the femoral tunnel. And then we tension the sutures delivering the graft fully seated into the femoral tunnel. Now we pay attention to the ALL reconstruction. We make an incision over the lateral epicondyle, slightly proximal and posterior. We then create an incision midway between Gertie's tubercle and the fibular head approximately two centimeters distal to the joint line. We connect the incisions going below the ITB. We then place a pin. The femoral pin is slightly proximal and anterior to avoid the femoral tunnel. And now we're checking isometry with the two pins in place. We wrap a suture around the pins, mark the suture, and then we flex and extend the knee. And we note that there's no significant change in the length of the suture. If the suture length was changing, we would change the femoral tunnel position where isometry is most sensitive. We then drill six millimeter tunnels, approximately 15 to 20 millimeters in length in preparation for a 6.25 by 15 biotin adhesive screw. Then we use a tibialis anterior allograft or a semitendinosus allograft. We suture the graft and then we use a biotin adhesive driver delivered into the femoral socket and then we advance the screw for interference fixation, and then the sutures controlling the graft are tied for supplemental fixation. 
we estimate the graph length above the skin and then we whip stitch the graft. We then pass a suture and simply shuttle the graft that is already whip stitched at the estimated length, excise the excess graft, deliver the graft into the tibial tunnel, place the knee in slight extension, advance the screw for interference fixation, and then we tie the sutures for supplemental fixation, fixing the ALL underneath the ITB. We then fix the tibial attachment of the quadriceps tendon graft. We place a pin and then a biocomposite screw that is 35 millimeters in length, one millimeter larger than the diameter of the tibial tunnel. And once the screw is advanced, then we can add additional fixation, placing a swivel lock just distal to the tibial tunnel, and that fixes the sutures that were sewn into the graft. Once all the sutures are tied, we have excellent supplemental fixation. Exam reveals elimination of Lachman. There's no longer any pivot shift. And we can go forward with rehabilitation that's slightly modified to protect this revision setting. Thank you.